Hello guys, welcome to Eduvenor. Today we are going to study about plane. First of all, let us see what is the meaning of a plane. A plane is a flat surface on which a line joining two points can lie completely. For example, this is a flat surface over which this line AB is lying completely. Then this flat surface is called a plane. Examples of a plane can be face of a cube or a cuboid. For example, we know that a cube or a cuboid is like a box. Now a box has six faces, top, bottom and its four walls. Now all these faces are called planes. These six faces are the six planes. So we have understood the meaning of a plane. Now let us see how we can find the equation of a plane. In order to find the equation of a plane, one of the following conditions must be known. Now let us see what the conditions are. First, normal to the plane and its distance from the origin. Let us see what is the meaning of this normal. In this figure, this is a plane and this line is perpendicular to the plane. Now this perpendicular line is called the normal. So according to condition number one, if this normal to the plane is known and the distance of this plane from the origin, origin that is 0, 0, 0. So if distance of this plane from the origin D is known, then we can find the equation of the plane. Now let us see condition number two. A point on the plane and direction ratios of the normal to the plane. So if a point, suppose x, y, z on this plane is known and the direction ratios of this normal are known, then also the equation of plane can be derived. Now condition number three, three points lying on the plane are known. Suppose we have a plane like this and three points A, B and C on the plane are known. The coordinates of these three points are known. Then we can find the equation of the plane. Now the fourth and last condition, lengths of intercepts cut on the axis are known. See this figure. This is a plane. This is a plane. Now from the figure you can see that this plane is cutting an intercept of length A on X axis, an intercept B on Y axis and an intercept C on Z axis. So if the lengths of these three intercepts A, B and C are known, then also we can find the equation of the plane. So as we have seen, if any one of these four conditions is known, then we can find the equation of a plane. Now we'll apply these conditions to find the equation of a plane. First one is equation of plane in normal form. Consider a plane which lies at a distance d from the origin P is a point on the plane having position vector R. See this figure. This is a plane. P is a point on this plane having coordinates x, y, z. This vector R which joins the origin to the point P is called the position vector of the point. ON is perpendicular to the plane. 
this line o n this line o n is perpendicular to the plane n is a unit vector normal to the plane unit vector means a vector having magnitude 1 and it is normal to the plane that means it is perpendicular to the plane in the figure you can see that this line o n is perpendicular to the plane so a vector of magnitude 1 on this line o n this is a unit vector n this unit vector is of length 1 and it is in the direction of this line o n equation of plane in this case is given by r dot n cap equal to d where this d is the distance from the origin and n cap is a unit vector normal to the plane this is called the equation of plane in normal form